I got banned in Arena Breakout while I'm playing live on stream. I kid you not guys, this actually happened. In this video, I'll tell you how this happened and how you can avoid it. Then I'll tell you what you can and won't get banned for. So things like triggers, you know, that the, um, the, the some of the gaming phones come with like red magic on the top, air triggers, the crosshairs that you can put on the game, even though the game doesn't let you, but the phone has like a visual uh, crosshair that you can use. PC emulators, market manipulation, the whole shebang. First thing you want to do is though, subscribe with notifications on because I'll keep feeding you with very important information until Arena Breakout goes global on July 14. Also, like this video because these kind of info takes a long time to get, a lot of digging to get. I have to message the devs directly to get their input, to get their answer on things that I'm not sure about so I can make sure that all the information that I give you is 100% accurate straight from the devs. So yeah, sub, noti, like, thanks mates. Anyway, I got banned while playing live on stream because I used the same email in early access for soft launch. Basically, I was one of the first people to play in the early access of global version a couple of weeks ago. The devs then released an announcement that using the same email that I used to create an early access account with to use it in soft launch can trigger a ban. This is something that they fixed though, so not really a problem anymore. But here are a list of things that it can and will definitely ban you for. Number one, cheating and using hacks. This refers to cheating as an individual, including but not limited to using hacks, modifications, emulator scripts, illegal plugins, crack versions, bugs, and other methods of disrupting game balance and affecting the experience of other players. These types of cheating will be punished with a ban, leaderboard restriction, and observation period. Those who play with hackers will also receive a ban. This is actually amazing. So these are, it's pretty self-explanatory. So it is like aim bots, war hacks, unlimited ammo, but it's also good that people who play with hackers and allow it will also receive a ban. That is absolutely fantastic. Number two, market manipulation. Using alt or offline markets to rent out accounts, grind mission rewards, hoard and sell supplies and other behaviors that disrupt the economic balance of the game will be punished with a ban, leaderboard restriction and material confiscation. Now, this one's a bit tricky, so let me clear this up even more. Let's say there's a website that offers service to do all the missions for you. You can't use those. This is offline market renting or like lending your account so that other people can watch the market for you, buy and hoard stuff for cheap, then sell it later when the price goes up. You can't account share with other people either so that you guys can grind the leaderboards and hold number one because your account is online playing and grinding rank 24 7 that's bannable those are the things that can get you banned basically you're supposed to do all the grind yourself and yourself only i need to make one thing clear though if you buy a bunch of items for a very cheap price keep it in your storage then sell it when the prices are high to make tons of profit but you do it all on your own in the same account you're buying and selling from this is not bannable number three Inappropriate speech. Behaviors that involve inappropriate speech like, but not limited to, maliciously promoting false information, advertising, inappropriate names, abusive language, that kind of thing, they will be punished with mute, a ban, or other penalties based on the severity of the infraction. So things like having a nasty symbol in your name or abusive messages in global chat, those things are bannable. Number four, inappropriate personal information. Inappropriate personal info like profile picture, your social media info, images, that kind of thing to do with a game while it's linked in the game, while it, you can actually see it in the game, including, but not limited to malicious, political, pornographic, violent, or advertising content will be punished with a mandatory change request, muting, a ban, or other penalties based on the severity of the infraction. They already gave very specific examples, so I'll leave that there. Number five, emulators. Arena Breakout does not condone the use of any emulators. Players found to be using emulators will receive bans of severity commensurate with the number of offenses committed. So emulators are basically, you can install a program on PC where you can play Arena Breakout on PC using a keyboard and mouse. You're not allowed to do that. That is bannable. I absolutely love this actually. I love the fact that Arena Breakout will not venture into the emulator space. This will definitely help keep a fair environment for the game. However, things that you can find in gaming phones like air triggers on red magic phones or even a crosshair feature from these gaming phones are not bannable. They are completely safe to use. The devs also confirmed that external triggers that you can clip on your phones are also safe to use and won't result to a ban. But if a player gets invited to an event like a tournament, rules may vary in which players cannot use triggers or crosshairs etc. Number 6. 
toxic behavior. Toxic in-game behavior like playing with hackers, idling, going AFK on purpose, intentionally harming teammates, teaming, carrying, bodyguarding, etc. will be punished with merit deduction, raid restriction, a ban, and other penalties based on the severity of infraction. So this is things like if you're playing in a team and then you go and meet up with another team, you can't team up with them. You can't carry a level one in your, in your game unless they're in your squad. Also, the intentionally harming teammates, this is great. The amount of people I hear complaining about getting naded by random teammates to steal their loot is unreal. You guys can report these type of players and it will result in a ban, so make sure you report them. The devs have banned over 70,000 accounts so far, guys. They are working extremely hard to combat people that try to ruin other players' experience in the game. So make sure you guys are always reporting people using the in-game reporting system and help us get rid of these vermins. Otherwise, the devs won't know about them, will they? I hope this video helped, guys. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comment section below. See you in the next one. Peace.